Zunegra on your left, Ari Lax on your right. It's Infect, it's Hardened Scales. It's round number nine to see who's going to make day number two of competition here in Baltimore. Looks like Ari is going to take a mulligan down to six to get things started, while Kazu with his Infect deck waiting patiently. Kazu, of course, coming off of a GP top four recently with Infect. Very impressive stuff for the Morgantown, West Virginia native. Ari now resides out here in the Baltimore, Maryland, D.C. area. Of course, Michigan native, and a member of Team R.I.W. Ari is someone I've known for a very, very long time. A Pro Tour champion, Pro Tour Concept Arc here champion, of course. Timely Elspeth top deck leading him to the title, defeating Sean McLaren in the finals of that tournament. As Lax will play, a Mox Opal, a Dark Steel Citadel, a Mirstress Bobble, a Hardened Scales. How much more fun can Ari have this turn? Well, he can look at someone's deck. That's fun. He'll play another Mox. <laughs> You're not wrong about that, partner. <laughs> and now there is a Hangerback Walker. Two counters on that. And now... He'll take the opportunity to look at someone's deck, I imagine, in a bit. Scope it out. Yeah, after the fetch. Yeah, he there wants to know, you know, for sure. Again, the card that Ari's looking for simply is, is Walking Ballista. I don't want to dumb it down and make it sound like that's the only card that matters, but it's pretty important. Yeah, I mean, if, if Negri has a, a Blight Agent, then it's got to be Walking Ballista. And even if it's just a Nexus here... With Negri having so many copies in the list uh, of Distortion Strike, I feel like it's Ballista or Bust. And if Negri kept seven here, you know, he's got to have one of the twos. Well, he's actually got Spell Skite, which is pretty good against Walking Ballista. As the Mirish's Bobble will take a look. And now Ari will draw from the Bobble and draw for his turn. Arcbound Worker among the cards that he's found. He will play in Ancient Stirrings. Now this looks a little bit more like why this deck is played a bunch and continues to have success. We didn't see this in Ari's first run on camera. His deck didn't really cooperate all that much. This deck is very popular as Lax will have to reveal the card that he takes. Though he's not too sure if this is what he wants to select. He'll go with Ink Moth Nexus, and he'll put it directly on the battlefield. The rest of the cards will go to the bottom of the deck. Also, make sure you reveal two Ancient Stirrings. You can get yourself a little trouble if you don't. Hanging Rack Walker turns into a 4-4. Four -four. Arcburn Worker is going to enter the battlefield as a 2-2, two -two, all thanks to the namesake card of the deck there in Hardened Scales. There's a Blighted Agent past the turn back. And if Negri has played the game at this slow of a pace, I feel like he's probably got it rolled up next turn. I think you're right. Leading on the Spell Sky instead of a Blade Agent is someone who's got it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not even like it requires that much. It's just two four pumps plus the Pendlehaven. Looks like Hangerback Walker is going to work itself into the red zone here. Unsurprisingly, Kazu happy to take that four. Blink Moth Nexus here for Lax. I know that Harden Scales is a deck that some players are very passionate about. Ari... He wrote in one of his articles recently that it's not his favorite deck in Hardened Scales, but you know he wants to learn more about it, which is why he's playing it here this week. And not going to love what he sees with the Pendle Haven, the Might of Old Croja, and now the Groundswell, as that'll take care of game number one here for Kazu Negri. He'll win game number one over Ari Lax as Infect, thanks to Spell Skite in some respects, very easily able to win game one over Hardened Scales as we go to Lax's sideboard. For Damping Spheres, not great in this matchup. For Nature's Claims are okay. Victor Mods, Crips, two Evolutionary Leaps, and the big one here in Dismember. Yeah, I bring in the two Dismembers. Uh, I wouldn't want a all four copies of Nature's Claim, but I could see talking myself into one or two. Well, on the other side of things here for Kazu, he's got three Shaper Sanctuary, three Spell Pierce, two Dissenters, Deliverance, two Nature's Claim, two Relic Progenitus, a Digger's Cage, a Wild Defiance, and a Spell Skite. Uh, uh, obviously, the anti-artifact measures here, the... Descenders Deliverance and the Nature's Claim. That's the best of the bunch. Nothing else here I'm super interested in. Well, those are the options there for both players, and game number two will be underway here in just a moment, but we do want to talk about game night one more time here, folks. It is, of course, the very popular promotion that we've been doing for years here with Star City Games. Thanks to each and every single one of you who have 
giving it a try, up to and including our retailers and store owners. We got some new kits and some changes for 2019. Yeah, I mean, this is December, the Bramble Hopper Elite with tokens and pins. 2019, big change coming through. Getting rid of the pins, throw them out, don't need them anymore. Cone with sleeves, Perdukin in January and then in February. Giddy, steady, go. Head over to go.starcitygames.com slash game night. Find out more information. Find the game night closest to you in stores. If you want to get signed up, contact your Star City Games in-store play representative. That just rolls right off the tongue. I like that. Sleeves. Yeti, steady, go. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I'll have to ask the team at home base how they came up with that one. Sometimes they hit. Sometimes they really hit. Oh, yeah. And they got to come out with 12 a month. 12 a year. No, excuse me, 12 a year, rather. And they've <laughs> been going on for a bunch of years. Yeah. You would think the well would be dry, but no. Just keep going. Like, if I do 12 a month, I quit. Yeah. I'm out. I quit at one. Yeah. <laughs> Kazu Negri, 22-year-old. Who I, I didn't know he was so young. I did not know that. From Morgantown, West Virginia. Four open top eights, one win. And if one of my favorite player slides, maybe my, maybe my go-to, my winner, my favorite here player slide, in which he wants to own a Dunkin' Donuts, very pro. Best handwriting SC tour makes our job easy. And he's a speedster with great calves. That's how you know he's young. 4 5 40, that'll last. Yeah, you can't you do that. You don't do that in your 30s. No. No, you don't. No. 22 years old. Come fresh off the Grand Prix top four, I believe. That's correct. That's correct. Getting old is so sad. I hurt my back. I tell no, you, it's great. It's so did I tell you, did I tell you, great. Did I tell you I hurt my back this week? Uh, yes. Yes, you did mention that yesterday. It's like ruin. I just because I'm stupid, first of all. I, I, uh, I go to physical therapy for my back. My back's really bad. I'm going to go to a chiropractor for the first time in, in this month. I'm very curious to see what that's all about because I, uh, I have some lower back issues. After, uh, after – like, I'll go on, like, a 10-day trip, right? Like, I'll do a show, and then I'll go home and see my parents like I did for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And then on Tuesday, I was working out and doing deadlifts and just did too much. And that was game. Yeah. That was game over. Yeah. I go to physical therapy. I, I do a little bit of dry needling. That's been helpful. I've heard that's good. Have you done acupuncture before? I'm not. No? Okay. I want to try that. Yeah. But, yeah, no, being old is great. And Some aspects of being older is great. My, my, my timeline on Twitter follow, you know, a lot of people who play Magic. Many of them are much younger than me. Mm -hmm. And I just scroll through these threads where I'm like, jokes aren't funny. <laughs> what they're talking about isn't interesting. That's, but you this, know is what? All, this is all true. But you know what? I was there once upon a time. Yep. It's okay. Yep. And I don't have to get everything. I don't have to participate in every conversation. That is There's so that true. In the rearview mirror. Jokes aren't funny. Subject matter isn't interesting. Mm -hmm. Drama you're talking about. Not that important. It's garbage. Yep. Just no one cares. Nope. But that, well, that's all right. I agree with. Uh, I just couldn't agree more. Yeah. Really. So, and it's it's nice to feel that way. Glistener Elf Spellskite. Kazu with the Spellskites, baby. Mm hmm. Feeling it. Do we have a Distortion Troy plus two four balls for next turn? And that's just it? And that's just it. Puts a wrap on the show. Whenever I watch Infect win, I think, why would anyone ever play a different deck? I feel the same this way. This deck is so good. Yeah, I feel the same way. And I think the Distortion Strikes are genius. I felt I felt like for a while that people aren't playing enough copies because we've, we've done enough coverage of the deck where we get into these situations where it's like, well, if they draw their one of Distortion Strike, they win. Right. They'll just win. It's, and it's not uncommon. Yeah, so they should probably be playing more copies. Then. Or like a second one in the board for just any matchup where they're trying to block. Like, whatever. Yeah. Kazu time. Kazu, let him have it. <laughs> you got Spellskite. You have all the protection in the world, let young it man. Let it rip. <laughs> There's the distortion strike. Talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Ari, talk to me about it. How you feel about that? <laughs> yeah. 
I can't do anything. Yep. Yeah, just do whatever. Do whatever. I'm dead. If you have it, I'm dead. You know there's nothing I can do. That's three, in fact. Ari with a shrug. All right, oh. just, th just three. Just three. Just three. What's Ari's plan here? Let's see what this is. Nature's claim. Vines of Vastwood. This deck is fun to play against. Yeah. <laughs> so, so busted. This deck is really fun to play against. Are you trying to kill my thing? Tough. Now he's got to dismember it, probably. Yep. Ari's just got all this one mana interaction from his sideboard. It's not going to be good enough. It's not going to be close to good enough. Does he want to dismember this or the Glistener Elf? I guess you don't want to dismember the Glistener Elf. All right. Spell Skite down. Counter on the Hangerback Walker. It's a 4 4. I would really draw Walking Ballista. Ballista. It's your best card. It's a steel overseer. Go and keep that. You go and keep that worker back. Yeah, it's it. Our crowd worker in hand. You got to keep up appearances. Yeah, yeah. You know if you tap out, that's just it. Yep. You got no cards in hand. Negri's gonna kill you anyway here. But whatever. You might as well make him think about it for a moment. You think he's got three sideboard cards? You think he drew three of them? All right. Ari right, gets another turn. Up to six, in fact. If Kazu had it, I would go for it there. Not because not because I know what's in Ari's hand. He's got an Ink Moth Nexus on the battlefield anyway. He's gonna play another one. And now Blight Agent? Alright. I mean I just wanna I just wanna try to kill him. Yeah, he's know? drawing so heavy to uh ballista here. Any turn you can cut out, even if it's some risk. It's worth worth thinking about. Ink Moth still has the worker in hand. Now he'll deploy the worker. Yeah, you kind of have to deploy the worker now too because yeah, you have the yeah. overseer going. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I, I like Har Ari keeping up appearances for one turn. Yep. But you gotta let it go. Hope you don't die. That's all you can do. In for two. Dead. 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 What a deck. Yep. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Kazu Negri gonna win this game match over Ari Lax. Two games to zero. In fact, gonna take our iron scales. Negri is into day two for sure. Lax may not be. We'll see how things do shake out. So, perfect example there of a game where.